The Clone Trooper Army's defensive Kamino is failing. They currently only have one last platform left alive with Kamino security guards ready to fight back against the Battle Droid Army. Beyond that is the cloning facility. On the interior, there is another 50 clone troopers ready to defend, and they need to protect the vital original vials of Jango Fett's DNA from the droids. But the droids are balling out in their final assault on Kamino. They have 500 troopers going up against the clones' measly 150. The clones are outnumbered, but they've got defender's advantage. Let's see if they can pull it off and defend Kamino from the onslaught of battle droids. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. Now let's get it. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship, and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then, gamers, let's go in slow-mo here and press start as the droids begin their invasion of Kamino. Well, the invasion is, like, ongoing at this point, I suppose, but they're continuing their invasion of Kamino here. Uh, the droids do have some HMPs up in the air. Uh, they're getting smacked hard by rockets, and it seems like it's bugging out because of the platforms a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how well these are going to do. This one's getting flipped around, and the other one seems to be crashing to the ocean floor below. Uh, so I think the clones might have been able to hit them with enough rockets to really disable the drivers, and now they're going to plummet to their death. So I don't think those are going to do a whole awful lot in this battle. However, the battle droid army themselves uh, seems to be absolutely firing like crazy at these clone trooper defenders right now. The clones are clapping back with fire of their own. They've got troopers in this little platform out here, uh, and then they've got a bunch of free roaming troopers on the outside platform over this way, as well as some defending troopers too. Looks like the lat that was uh, positioned here defensively has been taken down, um, and now the clones are basically going to have to fight tooth and nail here to stop the droid invasion. They've got DC-19 machine guns, you know, West Stars, they've got rocket launchers, they've got pretty much everything in their arsenal ready to stop these droids, but will it be enough is the real question, and it seems to be enough right now as hundreds of droids are dead on the battlefield really really early on the clones are just absolutely rocking them right now without going fire at deadly accuracy this is some brutality against the battle droid army right here and this entire platform is now dead save for one rocket trooper who goes down right there my goodness further back of course we do have additional droid troops Plenty of additional droid troops, even more reinforcements coming in from other gunships further back here. Uh, and then, of course, we've got, like, the middle platform here, which is still spamming out fire. Look at that. They are getting tons and tons of blaster bolts out there all at once. This HMP is definitely dead. <laughs> that thing got rolled real early on. We've got some droids over here being marksmen and firing away. Sadly, they don't seem to have E6s. They've only got E5, so their ability at a distance will definitely be nerfed due to that. But we got more droids moving down here. A big rocket launcher shot from the clones. That takes out like 10 droids all at once right there. Ooh, they're using those rockets as if they were mortars, and you gotta love to see it because that is some devastating effect. Oh my god, that droid almost just walked into the rocket launcher shot. I have to say, you rarely see clones utilizing their rocket launchers properly, but they're really doing it this time. They are firing these things out like crazy against the droids here. Uh, and I have to say, it's really, really cool to see because normally the clone troopers barely use their rocket launchers at all and it's just real cringe. But this time around, they're using it to devastating effects. We've got a boatload of droids pushing down this small Camino bridge right here and trying their hardest 
to kill some of these clones down the down the way and they've gotten a few kills a few more clones seem to be approaching the bridge over this way and pushing as well we got some DC 15x snipers the Z6 rotary cannons out there the whole shebang the clones I'm telling you really came out to play this time around and they brought their whole goddamn arsenal to fight against the droids I would not be surprised if maybe like half of the droid army is dead at this point um, they've, they've taken some serious losses here half of these droids from this platform are dead half of the droids from this platform are dead this entire platform over here is dead and even more further back here appear to be dying as well I mean it is real rough but what I am seeing is clones actually retreating farther back and so they might actually go into the DNA center further back here and avoid the rest of the droids entirely if they feel like they're losing the battle. And they might just leave it up to the static defenses, which seem actually fairly wiped out for the clones. So maybe the droids are finally getting a little bit of a grip on this here battlefield and are starting to make the clones a little bit worried. And therefore, those free roamers are going to start their retreat back. And that's exactly what's happening here. We'll see if that continues because they can always change their mind and end up heading back over. And that can be a serious problem in and of itself. That's going to be a big rocket. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's that's like five or six dead droids right there. DC-15X collateral kills coming in here as well. Absolute devastation. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that is wicked bad right there. That is no good to see. Okay, that's going to hurt the droids on this assault for sure. Those rocket launcher clones need to be killed, and they need to be killed quickly, uh, or else these droids are going to be suffering even further losses from here on out. We do have a few droid marksman snipers back here. Hopefully, they can get a couple kills uh, for their team. I mean... It is rough. It is rough. A lot of these clones, yeah, still marching backwards. That's definitely a good sign for the droids. But overall, most of the clones are still sort of hanging around here and getting good fire out against the battle droid army. Is this dead? Okay, yeah, this entire section here is dead. They did a good job fighting, though. They got, they got a lot of droid kills. Uh, so... You know, while the clones might be moving on to the next portion of this battle pretty soon, they did a bang-up job. Let's go ahead and bump it up a speed here uh, and really let this thing play out a little bit. Um, I, I don't want to go full speed because it might lag out the computer too much, uh, but this seems like a good speed for now. Either way, I wanted to do a quick plug for the Daily Productions channel. Oh, another massive rocket shot right there. Uh, yeah, over on Daily Productions, a lot of you guys might know that channel uh, as sort of my second channel where I post a lot of uh, indie games and stuff like that. Uh, well, I started doing a lot more heavy editing over there um, to try and sort of improve the quality of that channel because it's always kind of been just like me throwing up videos. Uh, but no, I, I really want to try harder, so I'm going to try and revamp it. Um, the second better edited video will be going up today, and it's going to be looking at natural disasters in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, um, and I'm trying to improve my thumbnails there too. So yeah, Two videos up with the better editing and more to come soon. If you guys want to go check out Daily Productions, link is on my channel page. And I'll try and remember uh, to put a comment in the comment section below with a link to the uh, channel as well. So appreciate it if you guys would go check that out. Going to try my best to work on that a little bit more. Either way, the droids are pushing farther forward. They're almost at this uh, point here where they got completely wiped out at the beginning. I don't know if that's the greatest position to run to right off the bat. I would stay where they are right now where they can fire from a distance and not go into this horrible kill zone but we can see the shadows of more and more clone troopers entering into the dna center over this way it will make the defenses back here even greater and even harder for the droids to overcome uh, but for now this outside platform is getting abandoned and so the droids will be able to hopefully come in and sweep these guys so we can see the second part of the battle it'd be a little bit boring if the droids got completely curb stomped on the outside here um, but i don't think that's going to happen i think that the droids are going Going to manage to get uh, into the DNA facility. We'll see if they manage to actually take it over, though. That's an entirely different story. Um, but some good sniper shots still coming from the clones here. Still managing to do some damage to these droids. Let's try bumping it up into normal speed here and, and see if the com computer can handle it. We seem to be getting about 30 FPS, which is actually very decent, and I think that is an acceptable FPS to stay with. Still tons of droids back here that are not pushing forward right now. These droids over here pushing very aggressively, and this is probably one of the better entrance points for them to push towards, uh, so I am totally cool with this happening right here. And if these guys push simultaneously, that'd be very good, but these clone snipers seem to keep... 
the droids at bay. Actually, clones are coming back out. I think they're seeing that the last stand on the platform is actually kind of working, and so the clones are trying to move more troopers back out there and reinforce the boys who stayed behind. That might be exactly what's happening here, uh, because we do have a lot of clones coming on out this way. This could be a really good idea or a really bad idea. This could just be the nail in the coffin for the remaining droid forces, or it's going to be a really good opportunity for the droids to wipe out a ton of clone troopers out here um, as they try and re repopulate that platform right there. We actually do have some quiet here as everyone seems to be getting into position for the next stage of this battle. As clone reinforcements enter into the platform over this way, droid reinforcements enter in over here. We know this is not a good solid platform uh, at all, so we'll see if it works out this time around because, I don't know, maybe the droids do something a little bit better over here this time around? I'm not entirely sure that's going to happen though because the clones just have such a good angle on this one, so... You know, it's a real shame that this is the closest droid force over here, and it's probably the worst position currently. Uh, but droids down this way seem to be getting good shots in and getting some clone kills on these guys over here. If they kill these rocket troopers, finally, I think the droids stand a really, really good chance. Uh, there's still a bunch of rocket troopers left alive, but I think the droids might be able to wipe them out slowly but surely here and maybe advance forward with them gone. More rockets going out onto that platform over that way. These guys over here are barely doing anything at this point. And then the largest droid force is still just derping over this way. A few snipers are getting shots off, but they're really not being all that helpful in the grand scheme of things. That is not going to assist in an actual W here for the battle droid army. And these guys over here, who I think have a really good position, have just lost so many troopers, and they didn't even have that many to begin with. So this is not exactly working out for these dudes over this way. This is a bit of a lost cause right there I would say oh we've still got troopers over here but they're definitely too far away to actually get any shots off right there so that's not going to be all that helpful these guys over here are all getting suppressed or are too far away to fire and the clones seem to have repopulated the platform with ease here and managed to basically reinforce their uh, their defenders over this way I, I, we'll see if they decide to retreat backwards again. Is there anyone left over here? No, literally everyone came back out here. Uh, why don't we go ahead and check out the losses real quick here. So yellow are going to be dead clones, red are dead droids. I mean, the droids have suffered immensely across the entire battlefield. Uh, the clones have certainly taken some serious losses here too. But you can actually look these yellow and silver dots at the top of the clones' heads. They represent um, veterancy. So the silver ones are second tier veterancy. Uh, the yellow slash bronze ones are first tier, so sort of the worst tier beyond not having a veterancy. And then there is a third tier, which is gold, which is really, really hard to achieve. But uh, yeah, I mean, like this guy right here, six kills. That gets him bronze veterancy. This guy's got one, so he has no veterancy. This sniper has 13 kills. That's double bronze veterancy. Um, this rocket trooper has 44 kills, so he gets triple silver veterancy. Very impressive right there. Uh, so all of the different veterancy for the clones is very impressive. I'm only seeing a few droids with veterancy on the battlefield, so most of these guys are still basically shiny recruits uh, that are not nearly as capable as the clone troopers in terms of a fighting force at this point. Oh, so it's a little bit tough. It is certainly a little bit tough for the droids to come forward here against veteran clones who will have better stamina, better accuracy, and just overall be better warriors because of those veterancy buffs that they are enjoying right now. And, I mean, they earn them because they manage to get a lot of kills and therefore their stats improve. It's a cool system for Men of War Assault Squad 2. Not a very cool system if you're a battle droid fighting on the Battle of Kamino right now, where the clones are surprisingly managing a very, very tight defense against your forces. This is this is some brutality for real, for real. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and do a little bit of a time lapse watching this happen right here, because uh, this is going to be an ongoing battle, it seems. This is not going to be over quickly. So the clones are just absolutely gobbling up this defense, despite being outnumbered almost 5-1. to one, They are just uh, on a domination, just 
roll here. They've wiped out pretty much all the droids over here. There's a lineup of droids still alive here. Uh, these guys mostly moved down this way. Uh, and then we've got another lineup of droids over this way. Uh, and, and then there are some stuck in the water below, which we might go ahead and just bring them on up, help them out a little bit, you know, get them get them back onto some dry land, if you will. Um, try, try and help them a little bit. So, excuse me, hiccup. Um, <laughs> so now they're back up there, but for the most part, it seems like the clones are just going to absolutely seize the day here with a very very small force they have done very very big things here which is absolutely crazy uh but to be honest i really do want to see the interior fight so i think i'm gonna bolster the droid forces here to give them one last attempt to push through the starting defenses and try and see the dna battle all right so i've given the droids 200 additional reinforcements uh that that means their total is up to about 700 and the clones here appear to immediately realize, oh shoot, the droids brought in more troopers, and they're firing and retreating as they go. That's probably the best strat here. I I'd really like to see the interior defenses in action. That's why I gave the droids uh, a little bit of reinforcements here. We'll see if the clones can manage to still hold out on the exterior platforms here, but I have a feeling they're probably going to retreat back inwards uh, with this revamped droid assault here. They're still getting fire out, and they're still getting kills, which is ultimately extremely impressive, uh, but I think they will will eventually get driven away uh, by the reinvigorated droid approach and yes we do have a number of droids literally just waltzing in over this way and uh, just that's got to be a real intimidating sight if you're a clone trooper and you're just seeing droids just just walking towards you no no sense of threat at all literally just approaching you that's pretty scary stuff um, and these clones do get wiped out out here uh, so it looks like we might get my wish of going to the interior defenses. Uh, and I know some people are going to be like, Ah, you helped the droids, you helped the droids. Uh, I don't care, uh, because I want to see the interior defense. So that's, the, that's the, the big thing. That's why I get to play God in these battles, boys. I get to choose who wins and who loses. No, I'm just kidding. Most of the time, I just leave it up to chance, of course. Um, but I do balancing before the video to try and make things as even as possible. And clearly, the clones just absolutely dominated this time. And I really want to see the interior defense, so that's why I did it. If, if you don't like that, that's okay. Not everyone has to like every decision I make. Either way, the clones in the back here are actually still getting a serious number of kills, though. So I'm very impressed. The clones, uh, this platform is just an absolute beast for them. And they're able to do so much against these droids with ultimately so little. So why don't we time lapse this again? And just because it, it just keeps going. Alright, so it looks like the droid reinforcers have pushed forward here, and uh, there's a few clones still backpedaling, and uh, we're, we're gonna get that interior fight that I so desired. It, co it cost the droids greatly to get here, though. Greatly. No more reinforcements at all. I mean, they've lost just hundreds of troops across the entire battlefield here, um, and, and they don't have a huge force left alive. Even just four clone troopers right here are doing work. This guy's got 50 kills. He just died. This guy's got eight. This guy's got 20. And this guy's got 30. So these clones alone have over 100 kills together. Uh, and they're the last standing boys. And, and they're still getting kills on the battlefield. That's how powerful this clone defense ended up being. Which is really, really impressive. So... These three clones are in their final stand here, and hopefully uh, they can get a couple more kills on these droids as they try and push, um, and, and eventually there will be a, a whole lot more droids pushing here, and these guys will die or retreat back into the DNA center, um, and I hope they retreat. I hope they make it back, um, and they're about to, so that's good. So these guys might be able to keep on fighting. No, they're pushing back out. Why are you pushing back out? Why would you do that? Oh, man. That's Oh, oh, we got some charging droids here. Holy cow. All right, one of them goes down right there. Two more back here, and the charging droids begin to open fire. One of them's back in the DNA center. We like to see that. That's very good, but this guy is just 
doofing out here. Oh my god, his friend goes to help him, and the droids continue to charge in, and we're seeing the DNA boys starting to get their first shots out here. And this is, of course, a choke point defense here. One doorway, one entrance, that's all. And so this will be a bloody massacre for the droids for sure. It's about overpowering the clones at this position, or at least trying to. Um, and it looks like these two sniper clones are still in the mix. 21 kills, 32 kills. Uh, they, they, they just, they don't even want to shy away from the droids. They just want to continue to fight this thing. So let's go in fast motion here for a little bit as the droids kind of get in gear. Um, there we go. Now they're starting to march. Now they're starting to get involved on the battlefield. But will they actually do anything impressive? Only time will tell here. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of them. But they're going to be uh, restricted to one bridge. And there's only a limited number of troopers you can send through that bridge at a time. And here we go. They start fighting at the bridge now. And the clone defenders begin to fire away. Uh, see, that's, that's good. The droids are getting some suppression on these guys. But there's two different groups. So if one group is suppressed, the other group hopefully won't be suppressed. And that will allow the clones uh, to continuously get fire out, hopefully. We'll see if that ends up happening here. Um, but the best bet for the droids is to just muscle through with as many soldiers as they possibly can all at once that really would be the best way of doing things here oh but even those guys further back there can fire away too oh look at the cloning chambers that looks so cool <laughs> this is such a cool map this is by darth bacon he makes honestly some of the greatest maps in men of war assault squad 2 history um you guys have probably seen a lot of his maps on my channel um and i even commissioned him to make one for me one time uh, which was really really cool so yeah darth bacon absolute legend makes really cool maps and of course this is a really cool defense from said map so i'm really really hyped about it i get a lot of questions about me being uh, able to upload my battles to the workshop um and sadly i i've tried before and almost every time it ends in the game crashing or just not working and so i'm not entirely sure why that happens um but i've yet to really be able to get my missions onto the workshop um, you know, usually I use a map uh, made by someone else like this. This is Darth Bacon's map, um, but then I make the mission myself. So this is my own mission that I made. Sometimes I do get people uh, to do them for me, and that's really fun too because it's a little bit more of a surprise. And some people are better at mission making than I am, um, but it is fun to make my own too. Uh, so this uh, corridor seems to be holding up for the clones thus far. Why don't we go ahead and time lapse this because this is going to be deadly as well. All right, boys. Well, the droids are certainly dying here. They're not doing too hot. Um, they've got a lot of boys like way back here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring everyone to the front at the very least. I'm not going to send them in, but I'm at least going to make them up here. Uh, I'm not going to recover the ones from the water since I gave them 200 reinforcements. The reinforcements could have at least been smart enough to not fall in the water. Um, so it looks like everyone else is in the water currently um, beyond these blocks right here uh, so we'll move these guys forward um, and it seems like the clones are going to manage to get the W here uh, just by the way this doorway is looking right now let's let's let them finish this off oh my god the droids actually made it through here okay that's bad um, <laughs> I, I think putting them all on the bridge at once inspired them to move in together I also incidentally squatted them up by accident while doing that as well so there's that luckily there's still more clone barricades so i don't think i ruined things for the clone troopers i think the clones can still easily make a comeback from this god i hope so or i'm getting yelled at in the comments like crazy today but yeah they're getting plenty of kills okay i think the clones still have this there are droids going room to room over here forward which is kind of funny um yeah just go interact with those clones there boys are these guys stuck in that room now? They might be. Those clones easily wipe the floor with those droids. There's a few droids over here. Not many, though. Not many. I think these droids aren't going to be able to move out of this room because the door is an automatic. So we'll go ahead and do that um, because if it's closed, they don't know that they can go through it again, which is a problem, obviously. It's just stupid AI, essentially. <laughs> AI being dumb. Dumb AI. Okay, here we go. 
big fighting going on over this way. Uh, droids interacting with more clones down that way. I, I think this is going to be an easy dub for the clones at this point. Pretty much no one's left alive over to the left over here for the droids. Um, unless these guys go that way, but I'm not entirely sure if they're going to. Where are you guys going? Why are you moving away from the battlefield? What are you doing? Okay. Well, they're kind of back in. Okay, what? All right, all right. Let's... Let's gear these guys towards the right direction because they're being stupid. So, yep, forcing the assault to happen here against these clones over this way. And the clones begin to destroy them. The droid's getting a few shots out, but, I mean, this is just a barricade defense. And the droids need at least, you know, 50 troops or so to probably overcome this small defensive barricade just based on the size of the corridor and that sort of stuff. And these guys are all now veterans. See, this guy's got eight kills, five, eight, nine... Uh, three and eight. So yeah, these guys kind of beefed it. Let's get the final kill here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. How are we missing so much? This is a very inaccurate gun, isn't it? <laughs> this thing sucks. Oh, we killed him. Nice. All right, guys. That's going to be the end of it. Kind of a derpy battle towards the end, but honestly, this was super fun. Yellow are dead clones. Red are dead droids. Droids had well over 700 troopers on the battlefield um, in total. The clones, again, 150. So clones managing to win this is absolutely incredible. They did an amazing defense here and it was awesome. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my other channel, Daily Productions. Let me know what you think of those videos over there. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.